Hello, in this Bootstrap version 4 video, we are going to cover the grid system inside Bootstrap. And the grid system is one of the most crucial and important aspects of why you would use Bootstrap. So what is the grid system? It basically is a system that has columns and it's, I was going to say, it's fantastic. It has 12 columns, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 12, and you can create elements that span an X amount of columns. The number of columns each element spans has to be an integer. There is a way to sort of do decimals, but not really going to be covering that because it's more of a fudgy way. You can't do like 3.5. You have to put like columns within columns and sort of let's do half of what the parent column is. But if you just generally, you probably won't want to be dealing with that. But we're going to have more videos covering columns so you'll learn about how to nest and you know offset columns. So let's start coding. The first thing you want to do is create a div. I'm just going to get rid of that. Div, Ooh, that's not what a div looks like. Div, and this needs to be the class of container. You can think of the container as grouping all your website's main content. Can you have more than one container? Yeah, you can. That's sort of the reason why there's classes, but generally, you're not going to. You're probably just going to have the one container. But again, there's no reason why you can't, but that's the way to think of the container. Within that, you put another div, which has a class of row, and you can think of the row as a way of grouping items together, so rows of items. So it's very common to have several rows. Can you have rows within rows? You most certainly can. And we'll be covering that in future videos. And within this, is your column system. So to create some columns, you do div class call, and now you put the size of the column and the amount of column space that you want to cover. We're going to put XS, which stands for extra small screen sizes, in a separate video. Actually, the next video, we will cover the different grid sizes. So we got extra small, we got small, medium, large, and extra large, but that deserves its own video. So for now, it's gonna cover extra small, put dash, and then the number of grid spaces you want your column or your element to span. Like I said before, there's a maximum of 12. So I'm gonna put four. So right here, I'm gonna put hello column four so I'm just gonna leave you now nah, I'm just gonna put hello world I'm going to simply copy and paste this and leave that as it is save this bad boy open this up in my web browser and as you can see we've got different columns which corresponds to these right here the cold dash xs dash four and if I start resizing my web browser they also start moving and resizing like so which is really cool so we've already got a responsive website but to illustrate the size of each column or each element with column dash xs dash four I'm gonna add an extra class called gray and for this I'm just gonna set the text color to white and the background to gray so you can actually see what is happening I'm gonna put a style tag in the head section right here generally speaking you want your css styling in a separate css file but for the purpose of this series i'm going to keep it simple and put it inside here because we're not going to do a lot with it so gray i'm going to put color white background color for this i'm going to put gray save this bad boy and now if we run it there you go we have our column system as you can see there's gray i'm just gonna put this as you know what i'm gonna create several different ones i'm gonna change this to a red green and blue change the color to red green blue so rgb 
change this to red so you can easily see because otherwise it's just a mush of grey so save that refresh our web browser and as you can see we've got the different columns so we've got the red green and the blue and they are all of equal sizes so if I start resizing my web browser they start resizing but they remain equal in terms of size so that's the basics of the grid system in bootstrap we have not covered the entirety of the grid system by any means there's a lot to cover there'll be loads more videos on this so check them out if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description it has thousands of free videos so check them out as well please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free also we'll also uh, said also twice we'll also have a link to github which will have the source code from this video so check that out as well if you're a little stuck or you just want to simply copy and paste it and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day